Vistaprint, we print your fancy water bottles. Mm. Going? How's it going? How's it going? Coach is in the chat. Dane is in the chat. How was the last guy? Gerard Jordan is absolutely uh, one of my favorite guys still. I watched him a lot last year. I was one of the only people that was talking about how good he was, and uh, people just wanted to ignore it. So I was glad. I was happy to go and watch. You know that game again against the Duke. He's uh, he's gonna make a team really, really happy. Do I think he's all three down back? Absolutely not. But some of the moves that he does, you it can't be taught. Can make the first guy miss, and he's a lot stronger than what people give him credit for, which is uh, you know, he's pretty outrageous. So let me go ahead and get get my guy Manny in here. Manith, what up, bro? All right, we're going to get into this uh, 
Jawar, or not Jawar, Jordan, uh, Max Melton film. Uh, hope everybody in the chat is doing, doing well. Hold on, I gotta do one last thing before we get, get buck nasty with it here. Uh, 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 is this going to upload? Sorry guys, I just gotta upload one thing. But yeah, I hope everybody's doing fantastic, man. Fantastic. Everybody's had had a good week, or at least a good week, or a somewhat good week. If not, hope hopefully your your weekend is good. Hopefully the next week is better. I think that's always important. Keep an open mind about your future. And we want to do that right there. Number sixteen, Rutgers. Looks like he. We have Harrison in opposition. Huh? I'm confused. Looks like we have Harrison in opposition. Oh, Marvin Marvin Harrison Jr. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Been following since his high school days. Ursay Pride. Uh, yeah, had... I, I could tell you when we went to the senior bowl and we actually got up close and personal with these players, Max is a super respectful guy, always super excited um, about any opportunity that he's been given. I think he's taken the process very, very well. Um, he's very thankful for where he's at. And uh, he didn't have a bad senior bowl week. Like he was making some plays out there. I wouldn't say he was the best player, you know, to be fair. But he's definitely rising up people's draft boards, and mm -hmm. um, I just want to do a deep dive in him. I got to see him personally, oh, so oh, now I want to. <laughs> I just want to see what he's about as far as plus yards. Come on, Travion, what you doing, Travion? Okay, let's go for the off coverage. A plus yards. Okay, please hold on. on. You know, ask Kellen King about that. As you looking right. so far, Manny? What you thinking, bro? Uh, huh? I like them. I'm. I've been okay. like them, based off what I've seen. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right. really Let me know if your card does that thing again. He's been all, all over right. uh, so far. So. All right. Look. Bye. Yeah. Hey, Cassie. I'm gonna need you to chill. Why does this keep connecting to my phone? All right. Third and seven. Okay, off coverage. Mm. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I, I get what you're saying, Coach, but, like, look at how his whole, like, body, like, his, like, stance right here, he's, like, flipped the other direction. Like, he's not even looking at Marv. Like, if he was... If he was like square and he was off, what if Marv just beat him with speed right there? Like, how are you gonna catch up? Got to flip his whole body. It's picked, like, they picked up the tendencies that they're probably not running nines in this. I mean, yeah. dude, dude ran a bubble up top. See, this is it's kind of a. I mean, I'm not sure if Max read this. I'm sure that this is something that they're that they're looking at. But maybe usually your indication of like a bubble screen is these two yeah. inside guys right here. You know what I'm saying? See what you're saying. With you you got you things. got two you got two off guys. Offense coordinator probably detected that. So you're gonna you're gonna play kind of shallow here. Your safety's probably gonna creep up here. Let's see what he does. But as soon as this guy came out in motion, this this is a traditional bubble right here. Yep, see? You see the safety? A little screen, yeah. That that's why he was playing in some <laughs> blocking hard as hell out there. Well, wow, Manny. Cornell Tate. That's my boy Cornell Tate out there. Damn. <laughs> he got smacked. <laughs> I have to hear about this dude Cornell Tate, bro. Mm. Future building the car. Future building the car. <laughs> Max. <laughs> okay. Yeah he's got to recognize like if you're not going to stay with him yeah you got to stay with him cuz he's the he's the furthest inside 
Yeah. Right? Yeah, but but like got the safety help right there. Why would why would you? No, 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 there? no, no. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. When you're playing corner, and I know this for a fact, when you're playing corner and this guy's coming right here, Pause. your your job is to stay along this sideline, right? For sure. So you're either going to pick him up and let let the linebacker come down and notice that you got Marv over top because you want to see if Marv is going to sneak through here. For sure. Then you pick him up. Uh, but the easiest yeah. the easiest thing to do is to keep a side eye on what he's doing and trust your linebacker. But you yeah. gotta get the the furthermost route, right? Where did where did the where did the slants happen? The slant so it's like it's like you wanna keep it you wanna keep in in mind the guy in front of you. But a, but a big indication is also gonna be the guy that's inside of him too. There's yeah. a lot of duplicated routes in the playbook, and they do that for a reason. To get sure. to the the second and third level, that's a second level rush, right? Or a second level, um, where who he's on right now? A second level, bam! You can kind of trust that the linebacker might pick him up, and the yep. linebacker's got to pick that up too. But you got to be more worried about Marv in the middle. That's Marv, what makes yeah. great corners versus just good corners. Yeah, this Marv is, is at the he, bottom, by the way. He's not. That's not him. Uh, whoever this is, you know what I'm talking about. We were talking about the guys up top. Is that Kate's? No, no, no. You know what I meant. No. So, really and truly, he's supposed to come down here. He's supposed to watch this receiver. You got no tight ends in the middle of the field. So, if you're going to play zone, you got to help somebody out here. Stay over. Yeah. And this guy's got to be here. Safety's got to come down or either be ready to, to hit this guy on the sideline. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that goes on. There's a lot of processing, but like that's how hard fucking football is. It's easy to explain Damn. it. Carnell Tate. Wayne Burton is not a dog. He's no, good. I never, said that. I never said that. He Yeah. I, I see this He's, thing. he's, he's top like, ten. He's top ten on my list. He's top no, he, ten. He's top yeah. like six, seven. Bro. He's, he's not, not in my top five. I'll just spoil it. He's, he's not, not in my better top than five. Malik Neighbors, like, bro, because I know what they're gonna say. He's gonna be like in a couple of months. Oh, don't be like Jermaine Burton. You was saying Jermaine Burton wasn't uh, all that good. I'm like, bro, I still said he was good. Like, it's just not better than Malik Neighbors. Like I think exactly. there's 10 receivers in this draft class that are going to be legit weapons at the next level. So me saying he's top 10 is not disrespectful. I think he's going to be a good receiver in the league. Jermaine Burton had six touchdowns called back this year where he absolutely cooked dudes down. All right, bro, you no, it's man. not the fact that – no, nah, Manny, right. it's not the fact that he wins on his first step off the line. That's great. He but his anyway. his second Not this level hat is pulling his eyebrows back so far. <laughs> <laughs> but his second level separation at the top of the route, where he gets completely open, oh, there's nobody in the country that got as open as he did. But and he's he's so quick, like on his second step too, like and, like and always the, selling vertical. And the one thing that I like about him. Is even if you clamped him one play, you're not gonna clamp him again. Yeah, the next play. He and, he's just, Banks, and he's just gonna, gonna say about it. And he's going, Deontay Banks. <laughs> I'm messing with you, bro. Chill. Why? Why you said Deontay Banks like he? Yeah, Deontay dead. Banks was a top ten DB in the league last year as a rookie. <laughs> Saying that like he bad or something. Like, no, he said I, Deontay I'm like, Banks. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, like, when did Deontay Banks clamp Jermaine Burton? That's where my mind oh, went. He, he said, clamped Terry McLaurin. He, he in his he, IG live, he said, "Did 17 even play today?" Washington on, Commanders. Coach is, coach is asking me why I have him number two, so I'm just explaining. The dude at the second level of the route is bar none the best wide receiver that does it. He got six. Let me let me name it. Six touchdowns this year that got called back because of offensive line penalties, we where know. he was cooking Man. dudes. Woulda, woulda, shoulda. If ifs and nuts could be candies and butts or whatever <laughs> Fishing said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if if ifs and nuts could be candies and butts. <laughs> I, I if ifs and question, butts can be candies and nuts. Yeah. Um, I just gotta ask one question, dog. Yes. Why is he better than Malik? I just wanna know. What he already he told you this in the chat. You disagree. We Bro, don't have to rehearse this. There, there no. is a literally there's a whole sliders episode on Jermaine Burton where I break oh. all of this down. It's too damn long. Don't, it, don't like ignore it. that there's a 20 minute oh, video on this whole thing that's uh, out there on YouTube. 
too tired to watch some long ass videos. But I just be watching ten minutes. I'll be like, nah. I can't finish this. I'm gonna finish this later. That's called attention deficit disorder. You should get that checked. <laughs> Right on, no, I get it. Man. It might not grasp your attention, but I explained this to Tooth and Nail on Slide. Hey, at least I watched it for 10 minutes, Dante. Who who watched it for five minutes? You know. Come I on. watched the entire damn video. <laughs> cool. That's 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 fine. But. So yes. There there you have it. All right. No. Agree to disagree. Nice. We're moving on. The only man. thing that I'll say is he's very limited in the intermediate game because that's not what he was asked to do. But to me, he is the best downfield catcher in this draft, bar none. And he, whoa, 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 whoa. And he has, a, and I think, and I think he has top five hands in his class. Top okay. five hands, I could see. That's that's I agree. fine. I think he has better hands than Malik Neighbors. You're you're telling me that Malik Neighbors, Roma Dunze, and Marvin. Well, outside of Marvin Harrison, Jr. I just said he has better hands than Malik Neighbors. Does he have better hands than Roma Dunze? Yeah. Okay, who else is a uh, Adonai Mitchell? He has better hands than Adonai Mitchell? Uh, Stop, love- brother. You're Andrew. kidding yourself. Okay, Andrew. let's look at the drop rate. Let's Andrew, look at the drop Leggett, rate. Leggett got some good ass hands. Adonai Mitchell drop oh, rate. Adonai. Adonai. A 2.2% drop rate. Okay. Who, Jermaine? Jermaine Burton drop rate. No, AD Mitchell had a 2.2% drop rate. A zero percent drop rate. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait! wait. So, so Mar- wait what, what was Marvin at? <laughs> I think Marvin was like at a three or something. Well, that's not bad, but he for wait. Damn, he had a zero percent drop rate. Fuck. Malik Neighbors had a five point three percent drop rate. That's what I'm saying, brother. Like, y'all act like I don't watch no, like four Marvin, or five games of this dude. This dude doesn't Marvin, drop shit. <laughs> Marvin had an 8.8 and Roma does that. Ah, damn. Yo, that's funny, though. I always hear Malik oh, Neighbors got man. catching problems. Meanwhile, I'm Marvin. even answer. Shit. Nah. I, I'm telling you, I'd be willing to put money down five years down the road. That maybe Jermaine Burton might be better than fucking Marvin Harrison Jr. All right, bro. All right. <laughs> I will take that bet right now. Another thing. Bet? Another thing. Another thing. We talk Damn, about the eight point. We talk about the eight point two percent. We talk about the eight point two percent. People also don't want to mention. Dante, I mean, when he has to block, Manny, I'm fucking talking. When he has to block, Marvin Harrison Jr. is pretty fucking lazy. Just okay. Saying. Cool. No one talk about that. So is, right, so is Randy Moss. All right. Bro. All right. All right. Here's, all right. Right. Here's the deal. Here's it's, the deal. It's Dante, almost like we Dante. watched the film. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I was about, I was about to say, Dante, I guarantee Malik Neighbors and Marvin Harrison are better over the next five years. So I'll make a, I, I'll make a bet for Marvin Harrison or Malik Neighbors pro jersey. And if Damn, they're man. not better, actually, no, Dante's probably gonna buy the Jermaine Burton jersey. So we'll just make a hundred and twenty dollar bet. The price of a jersey. Damn, Logan, you about to win some free money. Damn, bro, I see you dollar. <laughs> I cannot discount I, I, I Malik Neighbors' explosiveness. My favorite, I love how my favorite thing is if it doesn't help Manny's argument, he'll discourage it. Because if this was against if this was against Manny, he'd be like, "We can't tell. They're not in the league yet. Anybody could be a bust in the league." Blah 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 blah. But now that it's not against, he's like, "Damn, bro, you gonna earn some free money every time, like clockwork." I've noticed that. What are you talking about? No, don't even nah, bro. See, because if I was on your side, you wouldn't be saying anything, bro. Oh, all I said you wouldn't was, be saying anything. Also, why said, you wearing that like you just got out the damn shower like a damn granny? Take that shit do, off. It's a do rag. Yo, man, you gotta learn how to tie a do rag better. Yeah, bro, that looks terrible. It, you it looks look like hard. a little girl. I, I don't like to like just leave it out. Just I like to because I don't like it in front of my way. No, it was so funny though. The D, the Daniel Jones debate in the chat today was like World War Three, bro. <laughs> it's hilarious. It went on for I was 25 minutes. Discord kept going off. I had to mute it. <laughs> like, I'll read it later. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I, I've been noticing that, Coach uh, Ed. Uh, Max Millen is a, a really good player so far. Yeah. Uh, he's surviving he against Marv. Why do you think he can't play NFL receivers? Who said that? Yeah. No, it's, Fishin it's said Max is going to be a great special teamer in the NFL. Yeah, he's also fired. So like, 
Well, for, oh. may, maybe he meant he's a good corner and going to be a good special teamer. No, he didn't. <laughs> Is Jermaine Burton an inside-outside receiver? He's he primarily on the outside, but he plays he can pretty play much ball. anywhere you Jermaine want. Jermaine Burton reminds me of Cooper Cup. What? Or said, what? <gasps> Damn. <laughs> Why do you think he can't play? Blah, 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 blah. Max is hungry to play specials along with playing defense. Yeah, that's what he told us. He he's like, I don't care. I just hey, want to play. Long ass play. Yo, made. traveling fools. We appreciate you, man. He done gifted five memberships to the homies. Yeah. Yeah, man. Collect your collect your token. No, <laughs> collect. Yeah, collect your coins. Max has five or six block kicks. Damn, for real. I know. What is his mother? Bro, he's been in the frame. That was funny as hell when you looked up his drop rate. Jermaine Burton. Oh shit, zero. Fuck. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that either. Hey. Excuse me, sir. Oh, that's what it is, bro. Uh, we gotta watch <laughs> JJ McCarthy now. You don't gotta watch him. Oh, actually, never mind. You do it. <laughs> what you mean? We gotta watch him every play. Well, I, take, I, take that play. I, I take that back. I take that Donovan back. Edwards in the Wildcat formation every every snap this game. I don't even dislike JJ like that. Yeah, I don't. I don't either. I mean, I don't have him in my top five, but I don't think he's ass. Yeah, he's not bad. pocket presence in the draft besides Michael Pratt. All right, him against Roman. Stop. Him. Stop. Stop. You know who the number one is. Uh, uh. Who's the number one? Bo Nix. Oh <laughs> I like Bo. Yo, I like Bo <laughs> Nix. But Dante's, <laughs> ma yo, Dante's making me hate players that I love, bro. Meet Muncher. <laughs> you bro. literally have no words, no care. room to talk. No. We, yes, oh, Logan yeah. was literally sitting on the Bo Nix film study with us, and we saw this man no, step no, back in the pocket, no. go bam, 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 bam. No, I'm being completely honest. I think DB Michael right Pratt has. The, I think dime. Michael Pratt has the best pocket presence in this draft. Dude has You're... spidey sense. Spidey sense? I feel like Bo yeah. Nix spidey sense too. I ain't gonna lie. You can't do what you did in the national championship, dog. You can't. And then me have to be considered that he's number one in pocket presence, man. There's I said no Michael way. Pratt. Oh, Michael. Oh, I thought you said Michael yeah. Phoenix. Michael Pratt has the best pocket presence in this draft. I think Michael Penix is the most accurate. That national championship says otherwise. <laughs> Everyone has bad games. Bro, you can't have that bad of a game. That game was horrible by Michael Penix Jr. I admit when, it was horrible. When we when we rewatch it, you can't. I, I'm a quarterback guy, and I love Michael Penix Jr. now, but that national championship game was fucking terrible. He was overthrowing people. He was off his game. You have 14 to 15 weeks to be on your best shit in college. I know. Yeah, Michael, Michael Penix's footwork and pocket presence is the weakness of his game, in my opinion. I mean, it's all right, but... Well, so that's what makes it hilarious. Why the Giants take but <laughs> I, be I believe with the right coach, and he can be good, but I don't... The the dick glazing that people do for Quinion Mitchell yo, is crazy. <laughs> this man I said can, uh, dick glazing. <laughs> on, bro. I can people only argue so much in the comments. Nobody would have said Talia would have... Would have gone undrafted this year. Name a Maryland wide receiver running back off top. Stephon Diggs? DJ hey, Moore? He's talking about, about guys that played with Holly, top. <laughs> You Not fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What? What are you going Name a wide receiver off top. Nobody can because they didn't have anybody. But it doesn't change the fact that the dude couldn't throw downfield at his pro day. And all the NFL teams were like... <sighs> I'm drafted. <laughs> he was not good, bro. That he 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 ruined himself from being a sixth or seventh round draft pick to going undrafted in his pro day. But he did not all of us thought he was gonna be good. And I get it. We can be a little biased and be like, all right, he should be all right, right? 
but at the same time, more athletic than Danny Dickhead. I, yo, John Ross Leo, he got some wheels. John Rice Plumley's got the whole package. He just gets hurt. Yeah, bro. And wheels. Yeah, he got the whole package of DoorDash that he might be delivering. Nah, if you if you <laughs> weren't impressed by his film last night, no, nah, he looked good. I'm, I, I, I'm not even gonna. You know what I'm saying? Logan, why did you just send me that? That's crazy. We say all the time, pro days don't matter. A bad day makes him undrafted. I never said. That. I get it. I'm just saying, like personal area, my brother. Like, <laughs> The fuck started speaking French all of a sudden. Yo, Max Melton is nice really- throw though. Yo, Logan, you see how Max strapped him though? Like he was trying to do a little move on him right That there. was a good play by JJ. Nope, nowhere. Max Melton is really like that, bro. I promise you. Stand in the pocket, take that shit like a man. Boom. Completion. Yeah, he that's one of his better. Beat. That's one of his better throws. Yo, bro, I also like blowing. <laughs> no play. It's trolling, <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Logan, but I, I, I literally was reading and I was like, I can already, I already know that Logan's like sitting in his chair being like, oh my. No, God. I was doing, I was doing laps around my kitchen, sweating, bro. Hey, say, That's how really good play by uh, JJ, right? That was a good yeah, play. I just want to see. He was on uh, him, and he had back to, shoulder. He had to chase him. He had to chase him because, like, was it uh, a no look pass? Hold on, Matt Stafford. Max Mountain started. No, no he no, was looking was, directly it was, at him. It was, what the fuck? Bro, I man. didn't see. Stop Hold on. this man. I'm not. G- oh, my. Dante, have you once heard me call this man a top five QB in this draft? Anyways, Bro, so. Logan, um, this was actually a fucking amazing pass, by the yeah, way. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bro, this shit said, was incredible. Bro, complete, it my guy. It almost got there, though. It almost got there. Dante, it was within a yard. Dante, you telling me if Bo Nix completed that pass, you're gonna be like, holy shit. Wait, wait, hold up, Logan. Hold up, Logan. Dante, you telling me if you came into the middle, right? You make that play. Wait, Logan, wait. Okay, go ahead, bro. You make that play. You make that play right as a quarterback. And then receivers right there. You almost caught it. You can't you telling me the receiver can't go make the play? What's your job as a receiver? To go make plays, right? Be a playmaker. You can't just expect the quarterback to throw you a good pass every time. And my and your job as a coach is to see the bad and the good, right? Yes. Okay. That should be like, caught. Oh my god, this is incredible. Yeah, he, but that was no, no. City, hold on, I'll, I'll let y'all talk. Yeah, let him go, Manny. But in the Morita vicinity, if Roman Wilson was to come back and make this catch like he's done a thousand times under JJ yeah. McCarthy, he should be the one getting the praise. Because that of shit course. is not gonna, that shit is not gonna work, and it shit never flew out of his fucking hands. That's an anomaly type of play that doesn't, that doesn't work all the time. So if I'm his coach, I'm like, don't ever throw that shit again. That's from the other angle, real quick. Telling me he can't go make that play, damn receiver. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. After you just got rushed and you still throw it. I hold on, hold on, hold on. This is my point, though, right? This is my Look, point. It wasn't there even was, near him. There was a similar type of play that Bo Nix made versus Utah in the red zone where he was just getting rushed, made a jump pass in the end zone, and you use that as an example of his skill set in your sliders video. It was a similar type of pass where he just got pressured. I just, I, I have a feeling that you just All right, don't Logan, here's where you're about to get fucking cooked, brother. I don't know what it is. It was within this right, right here. <laughs> it was within fucking He's five yards. Me. He made a seven-yard pass, a jump ball. This dude just made a fucking 30-yard pass across his body while he's getting rushed. That's not impressive, there, though. The fact that he almost completed it. I didn't. Almost only counts on horseshoes and hand grenades. That, hey, we, <laughs> we said something about that earlier. We said something about that earlier. Coach Ed, do you agree with me? I'm not mad two, at this. Where the, where, the, where the two people that have coached here? If you no, were a quarterback coach. I get what you're saying. And it was a hard catch to make because he, he wasn't even looking back bro, until like the very last minute. But still. It is what it is, bro. You damn receiver. Like. <laughs> it is what it is, bro. No, I get what it's you're fine. Saying. You can have it, Dante. You can have it. You know it's over when Dante says brother. Bro. Yeah, man. He thinks he's a Hulk Hogan, bro. Like What's in here, brother? <laughs> Come here, brother. Did you, did you just say I, I thought I he thought I was Hulk Hogan? Dude's favorite wrestler. Oh Chad, what you thinking, bro? 
Yo, coach, I'll send you. I'll send you. I'll send you fifteen. All right. Damn. Good performance from. Seven. Damn. Ma- they was Max. Really good as hell, Max Schmelton. He's good. Max I like him. Schmelton. I like him a lot. Like Let me tell you about this guy, Max Melton out of Rutgers, man. He's going to be a good defender for your <laughs> football team. <laughs> Let's tell you got this guy out of Rutgers, Max Melton, man. <laughs> Rudy player. Makes players all across the field. I told I, I told you Max was good. Shut good shut up, Hayden. You added the U. He just said I told Max was good. This dude, this dude said this dude Hayden said hello. It is Hayden from East Coast Gridiron here with Max Melton. How are you doing, he, man? Egyptian? What? <laughs> Bro, East Coast his, Gridiron. His his first language isn't English. I don't care if that's what he claims. But he said he not. said thank you all for coming today. This is Aiden. Nah, Aiden was right. My man, my man is good. You can't, you can't compare him to his brother though, because he's on the Packers. Somebody just stopped that. That's nasty. Bro, work. he only look. He only said that because his brother's on the Packers. No, yeah, and then when Max Melton goes to like the Vikings or the Lions, he's gonna be like, "This dude, yeah. shit." This game was Terrible. about how bad the offense was. Uh, yeah. I mean, I can yeah, see I mean, that, I man. That. Yo, Michigan was really good last year, man. I'm just not like crossing the net even more. Uh, they won the natty, sir. Well, I know. I'm just saying. I, I just like their dominance was crazy. Hey, man. Appreciate everybody that checked this out. I know y'all like the little banter that, that me and Manny get into about receivers and cornerbacks and, and especially JJ McCarthy, man. It was me who started the. Never mind, bro. One day I'll yeah, get this guy nice. Logan I Knapp out of the university. I don't give be, a shit. It used to be me and you, Logan. Uh, they don't respect me, bro. It's all right, man. It's all right. Nowadays, it's you and Logan. In North Carolina. I just be I just be watching. You feel me? It's you and Dante. No, I feel like I feel like it was me and you, Manny, and then it yeah. was Dante and Logan. And then it was Logan and Dante. Yeah. All good, man. Yeah. Appreciate everybody in the chat. Uh, keep watching that film. Keep finding all the games, and keep making your own opinion on stuff. Except for that throw was a bad throw in all accounts. Shot uh, it, was. <laughs> it was a bad throw. Welcome. To I'm to I'm saying right now. A uh, hot take to most people: Max Melton has just entered my top five cornerbacks, man. I don't, I don't think that's crazy. Oh uh, yeah, I don't think that's crazy. He's in my, no. he's in my top five now. No, I'm. Never mind. I will not spoil my list. Yeah, don't spoil it at all. That's why he I just wrapped up. He just strapped up every Ohio State receiver. <laughs> I can tell you a surprising name that's going to be on my list is T.J. Tampa. Oh dear! God. Oh, that's fine. Actually, yeah. TJ oh dear Tampa's God, good. bro! Uh, this just... CJ Tampa's in mine too. Yeah, this dude. Uh, apparently, the way that Cassie's now. looking at me, she's like, "You better, you better say TJ Tampa's in mine as well." <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, homie? That was it. Go ahead. We're the top five goalies in hockey right now. Yeah. Jinx said Max is going top thirty-five. Woo wee. Probably is. He's probably gonna go like top forty. I could see a team like the Chiefs taking Max Mellon. That's Here's a God. hot take, man. Nah, I, I I see in the second round he's gonna go. Let me tell you about this guy, Dante Sell, man. He really grinds my fucking gears sometimes, <laughs> man. <laughs> this dude, Dontavius Cellular, man. Yeah, he this dude Dontavius Cellular, like he just casually ran a four four in high school, you know. Like, Looking like Jimi Hendrix running a four the four. Cameras were not on. This is just a rumor. This is just I a theory, a Dante theory. I can <laughs> definitely see him. Cardinals did bring him in, but I think Melton will go in the third. I think he's going in the I second. I think he's going in the, the second. Third. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Chief. There's a. There's been a lot of talk about him going early second. Uh, you know, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, end of, end of the first now. If he drops to the third, that is, it, it, I'm going to jump in the damn pool. Well, I'm jumping in the pool. Man. I'm going to find a pool and I'm going to jump in it. He said, I'm dead. <laughs> well, that's great, but I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, All man. right, y'all. We're getting out of here. Appreciate everybody. Talk Appreciate to y'all later. It. He's going at 41. Oh, my God. Shut the hell up.